Hello YouTubers, I'm back out today. I've uh, come back in this uh, stubble field where I finished last time. Uh, I have dug a few targets, uh, just laid an aluminium again. I've just dug another target now, just here, and I just want to show it to you. I just want to put this on. Excuse the noise. I don't know if you can see that, that looks like uh, a harp just there. If you can't see it now, I'll uh, I'll do photos after. And if you turn it over, it does look like there's like a flower there. Looks old. Also, um, I've got my new spade with me today. I've actually uh, purchased the mole. Uh, I had to get one, and uh, up to now it's brilliant. It's uh, it's sharp, and uh, resting your foot on the centre is brilliant. There's no wobble, there's no shake. You just straight in there. Okay, on to the next. All right, I've uh, just dug my next target now, which isn't too far away from the last target. Don't know if it's a coin or a button. Um, it's very thin, looks like an old half penny. I don't think I'm going to get anything off that. I'll give it a clean up when I get in. Uh, if you are interested in getting a, a mole spade, um, I'll put the uh, the link in the uh, description. That just so sharp, you know, you just straight in there, no messing about, and there's no there's no wobble. Brilliant, excellent bit of kit, excellent. If you do want to purchase one of these mole spades, uh, the fella who I dealt with was called Rick. Um, I'd actually been on the phone with him, he's a nice guy. Uh, this one is 38 inches in length. Uh, it's got the smaller head. You can get a bigger head, which I think is about 11 inches. This is eight and a half inches, if I got it right. Uh, it's not too heavy. And if you do want it smaller, you can have it custom made. But uh, they're brilliant, you know, you got all your weight on the centre. Excellent. Right, on to the next. I just want to show you what I'm finding. I'm finding loads of these little lead discs. I've I've had loads off here. There's no detail on them. Just little lead discs. Next target, just been dug. And it looks like an old cross. Looks old. The, uh, the the farmhouse is just down there. I don't know if you can see it with the sun. And what the farmer was saying over there in World War One, they actually put a runway here with a load of hangars. Uh, I've actually, I've actually got uh, my uh, permission on all these fields here. Uh, whether it's a good thing or a bad thing, there's been a, a runway there. I don't know, but uh, I'm not ready to go there yet. But there's other fields up here first that I want to do. Okay, on to the next. Okay, I'm going to fill my next egg so you can see the uh, the mole spade getting used. I've got a target here now, which is 79 to 80 that way. I'm using the full tones. 85 this way. And it is jumping a bit now, actually. Okay. 
straight in then, no problem. Okay, that's in the plug. I'd lost that then and it's it's an old button it is does you see the, the shank on the back okay I just want to show you the view across the water here That's Anglesey over there. Uh, the town just across the water there is called Bew Morris. That's a beautiful place. And then you get to the end there, uh, you've got Penmon, where the lighthouses are, then that island, as I said in a previous video, is uh, Puffin Island. Over there you got Llandidno. On top is the Great Arm. And this is the North Wales coast along here. Okay, on to the next. Okay, next target just been dug. It does look like an old coin. I don't know if it's a an old farthing, maybe. I can't see any detail on it. I'll clean it up when I get home. You can see the sun is starting to go down now. Right, I've got another target here. 81. 77. Could be a button. I'm just jumping a bit. Okay. I think it's an old uh, watch winder maybe, very small. Okay, this one's for you Dave in Scotland. I'm not sure if that's a top of a bottle and that's the rim, because this side feels very smooth as well. Probably ours broke off. Okay. Right, I'm going to call it a day now. Losing light here. Uh, the mole spay today has really been a pleasure to use. It's a brilliant bit of kit. Really happy with that. Uh, the next time I come back now, I'm actually going to go to the front of the house in them fields over there. That's where they claim where the uh, World War One runway was with the uh, hangars. So. Could be good, could be bad. Okay, uh, thanks for watching and commenting and subscribing to me. I'll see you again soon. Good luck and happy hunting.
Will you search through the lonely earth for me? Climb through the briar and bramble. I'll be your treasure.